Should you build new or buy an existing home? Today I'm talking about the pros and cons of both, so let's get started. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. If you haven't already done so, please take a second, hit that subscribe button. I love making videos for you each week to help you make smart decisions when buying and selling a house. And you won't want to miss when my next video is published, which is every single Monday. Before you decide on your next house, take the time to explore all the reasons for and against your choice with a seasoned real estate professional. An experienced realtor not only can save you money, but they can also offer you guidance and advice based on your specific circumstances. And oh, by the way, this valuable service is always free to you as buyer. Realtors get paid by the seller's proceeds at closing. So let's dive in. Let's talk about some pros when building a house. Inventory for existing home sales is still low. And with some sellers temporarily taking their homes off the market, the number of homes that buyers have to choose from is even less, for now at least. The buyer demand is still very prevalent, so all the homes that are priced appropriately are being snatched up very quickly. When you build a new home, that competition factor is decreased dramatically. When building a new home, you get to personalize all the custom details of your home, like cabinets, flooring, and paint, for example. Even track home builders offer some limited customizations. Limited choices, cut labor cost, and your bottom line. Most new construction homes are being built with some really cool up-to-date technology, like newer thermostats and touchscreen security features. Also with new construction, it's unlikely that you'll have to be concerned with repairs right away, like a new AC or a leaky roof repair. Also, most builders offer a limited warning should something break. I bet you're thinking all this sounds really great so far. So why wouldn't you build a new home? For starters, it takes an average of five months to build a new house. And if you have a house to sell and you need the proceeds of that house to buy the new one, timing can get a little tricky and stressful for some. You'll have to cover the cost of renting until your new house is ready. And if you have other arrangements, you may have the possibility and the inconvenience of having to move twice. On the flip side, buyers can move into their pre-loved house within just a few weeks of getting into contract. Here's another biggie. Everybody wants a good deal, but new construction, the price is not negotiable. The price is the price. Now, most builders will offer incentives like paying your closing costs or at least a portion of them and offer you an upgrade allowance. This is where having your own realtor could come in really handy. An experienced realtor knows these builders in town and most likely have done some successful transactions with various builders. And they know how they work and what they'll bend on and what they won't. Knowing these things, your realtor may be able to negotiate other incentives to be built into your purchase price. Out-of-pocket expenses will sneak up on you fast, like upgrades or changes to the plan. The base price of the new construction home is only the tip of the iceberg. Play it safe. Budget for these things with cash because you may not be able to roll them into your purchase contract. A good start to avoid any of these unexpected surprises is to first ask your builder a few questions like, how much does the typical buyer spend on upgrades? Now we have to be careful here. Your realtor will be able to advise you of how not to over improve for the neighborhood. For resale value, what is included in the base price? For example, are all the appliances included? If not, your realtor may be able to negotiate this for you. And oh, by the way, builders don't give credit for replacement upgrades. For example, say you have your own refrigerator you'd like to have in the house, opposed to the one that the builder would install with the package. Well, the builder is not gonna give you credit for the refrigerator that he's installing. It's up to you to sell or give away the refrigerator that he's installing at closing. So you can bring in your refrigerator after closing. And here's a question you always need to ask them. Ask them what would be an example of an additional cost at closing. Hmm. You've heard me say this before. Knowledge is power. Work with your realtor and gather as much information as possible ahead of time so you're not blindsided by these extra unexpected costs. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of buying an existing house, or what I like to call pre-loved homes. 
The biggest pro to buying a pre-loved home is the cost. Everybody wants a great deal, right? Well, with the pre-loved home, your realtor has a flexibility of negotiating everything with the current owner or the representative. That means not only price, but terms and all the little things that are very important to you and your personal circumstances. And not to mention that it's a lot less stressful to buy a pre-loved home opposed to building new. With new construction, you have a lot of work to do. Like having to make decisions on what paint color, hardware, flooring, lighting, interior trim, exterior trim, the list goes on and on. And oh, you have to do all this and stay on budget too. Oh, and don't underestimate the stamina it takes to make sure it's done the right way. With the pre-loved home, the decisions are far fewer because the home's already built. Another perk of having a pre-loved home is the flexibility to upgrade at your pace as to when you have the time and money to do what you want to do when you want to do them. Also, there's no waiting to move in. You can move in right away after closing on your pre-loved home. And typically from contract to close, it's 30 days. Now let's talk about some cons when buying an existing home. Clearly, there may be some risk concerning some maintenance issues because you really don't know how well that prior owner cared for their home. Although I have to say, sellers are becoming more in tune with their competition, meaning new construction. And they're taking the advice of the realtors and taking care of these little upgrades before listing the homes. I'm seeing more updated and modern conveniences and pre-existing homes than ever now. Even if the seller has gone to the expense of upgrading and updating, it is strongly advised that you get a complete professional home inspection. A fully licensed home inspector will go over every inch of that house to root out any maintenance or repair issues. In addition, you may have to upgrade a few cosmetic features in the home. However, if you have an experienced realtor, that ugly carpet or nasty wallpaper could actually land you a better deal. With all this being said, every neighborhood is different just like every buyer is different. The best way to decide which choice is best for you and your family is to sit down and talk it over with your realtor. He or she will always know where the best deals are, know where the long-term established neighborhoods are, and also the up-and-coming communities. They'll help you make smart decisions that best suit your needs when you're unsure of building a new house or buying a free loved home is ideal for your individual circumstances. Buying a house is a huge purchase. You should feel empowered by the decisions you make with your money. If you'd like to chat with me personally, I offer free 15-minute video consultation calls. You have my word, no selling, no pressure, just your questions answered. You'll find the link below to check my calendar for available times and days. I'm Lisa Kelly right here in Lakeland. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.